Hello, good afternoon. This is the Legacy Lost Music and Radio Paradise Show, or should I say the Legacy Lost Radio and Music Paradise Show. And uh, today I'm going to go over a um, very popular scanner and whatnot antenna for uh, portable radios. <clears throat> And I believe they call this the 20-006 uh, telescopic collapsible antenna. It's got a, uh, this version has the BNC connector on it. And it's got, uh, let me see, we got one section, two sections, three sections. One, two, three, four, five top sections. One, two, three, four, five sections. Uh, sorry about that. It's just uh, hard to get this all in there at once. And I, uh, a friend gave this to me. He had a spare. And uh, it's pretty tall and uh, fully, you know, fully extended. And this is a uh, trap coil. And uh, the instructions on these, I think you can still find them online. I'll tell you about the different uh, lengths to use. You know, the shorter for the uh, higher frequencies and extend it lower. And this trap, I believe it's like an FM trap. But it is a little tricky. You'll notice if you short the coil, you push it in just about a quarter of an inch into the top here. Um, it bypasses the coil and actually works better on certain frequencies as I'll show you in a little bit. So... Uh, but this isn't the best for like the higher frequencies. I wouldn't think anything over the UHF T band, like 500 megahertz. This is um, a better, uh, you know, for lower frequencies and um, VHF low even isn't too bad on it. Air band's not too bad. Um, of course, VHF high, you know, works pretty good and. Um, Mill air is so so, you know, it's it's not that bad, but it's versatile. That's the good thing. The bad part is the length and the weakness here. There's a little like plastic nylon little piece in here and uh you definitely don't wanna get this knocked over when it's fully extended. It puts some weight on the top, but it's it's not the strongest. I'll notice also notice over time the uh top piece section here. You extend it and sometimes it'll drop into the other and I guess that just wears out over over time so uh, it's it, it's an interesting antenna though but it's, if you got it set somewhere um, you got a good sturdy uh, older radio maybe like a pro 95 or 97 or something like that it probably work really good um, if you leave it set but it's not something you really want to take portable with you and dangle around on full extension so you know it's just it depends on if you're careful with it like i've been i've had this about three years now and uh i'm happy with it and i'll just give you a little demo here um this is a stock uh actually this is a uniden antenna here i had it this is stock uh rubber ducky here for weather channel and i'll put it on here on the the orlando one which is not the closest one to me, so it'll give you a good idea. So right now, I'm getting, if you can see that or not, getting three, three, getting three bars on the reception on there. So I'm getting three, three receptions, and um, that's uh, just a rough estimate. Of, you know, it's not the most precise. Thing, but um, I'll show you the difference here. I'll put this on here. And we'll put this on. And let me get a tune. I believe if VHF, the higher frequencies, they work better. Um, if you pull them up with this one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now we got this up. We got the bottom collapsed and the top fully extended. I believe that's what they asked for on the VHF. And actually, you'll notice the signal kind of went down a little bit. It's only one bar. That's because it's not tuned. But now, if I collapse 
this piece here, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. You just push this down from top about a quarter of an inch or so. Now I got four bars on that. So I went up about uh, 20 percent, 25, yeah, 20 percent uh, gain. Instead of three bars, I got four bars, so you can see the difference that made. So it does make a difference over a standard rub rubber ducky antenna. Well, like I said, there's there's um, instructions on here. It tells you the different lengths. You know, for the shorter, the frequency, the lower. You want it to collapse the elements, and you can kind of do a guesstimation by. Uh, it's all kind of like a play by ear. Without an analyzer, it's really, uh, you know, it's kind of a hit and miss until you actually do the test, you know. But it's basically you see the pants, just uh, check your signal and then go from there type of thing. But uh, I highly recommend it. I think every scanner enthusiast should have one of these, you know, especially if you need that little bit of extra gain on the uh, band that you're looking for. And, um, like, again, this does make a difference from... This is again 4 dB. I'm getting four bars. And I switch back to the stock Uniden Radio Shack. It goes down to three. So you definitely get about 20% increase. According to the meter, if there's five bars, 20% would be uh, each uh, S bar on there approximately. So, anyway, um. I would recommend the 20 006 telescopic whip again. There's a lot of tricks with these. I uh, experiment at your, uh, you know, at your leisure for your best reception. They work great for, you know, works better. Definitely works better on VHF low or something like that. Even picks up CB a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if you can transmit on that. There might be a thing. I think you might be able to, but I wouldn't really put any. Thing more than four or five watts out of this. I don't, I don't really know, you know, what the coil or anything's rated out. It's you know, it's, and again, it's not very heavy duty. It's kind of chintzy, but um, you know, a good strong base radio would do good. But I um, mean, you can just flop this around. You can feel it shaking a little bit in there. So anyway, and uh, also remember that uh, sometimes it works better by shorting the coil down, and you just Take the less section of the top part, the, the fat section of the top piece, and you just push it down. You'll feel it kind of just grab a little bit. You just push it down about a quarter of an inch, and that bypasses the coil. And uh, they don't really explain that in the manual, but you check that out, and you might uh, find the best result. So, uh, anyway, uh, highly recommended. Every scanner should have one. I would uh, recommend these just for the portability of anything, but again, weak point is the length and the structural integrity of it's kind of weak here at the bottom there. You don't want to snap that. So, all right, peace. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe. We'll be doing some more reviews on another uh, antenna from Radio Shack here momentarily. Seventy-three. Peace.